Welcome today, five of attempting to go 500 miles in the world's tiniest electric car. This thing is the most inconvenient car you could ever imagine on the planet, and it's proven to be incredibly difficult. I see why no one ever takes these things out of the city. We're trying to do a loop around Italy, and right now we are in the countryside. We are in the Tuscany mountains, and this is the car. For anyone who's new, it only goes 25 miles an hour and only has 40 miles of range. It has no AC, no vents. It does have two push windows, though, to open it like this. And the seats don't go back or anything. They're like permanently up and they're incredibly uncomfortable, like barely padded. To say they're padded would be very generous. Today we're trying to go to the Leaning Tower of Pisa, which is about an hour drive away in a real car. So in this car, it's probably gonna take five hours. We're gonna have to charge for probably three hours and the drive is probably gonna take two hours. But before we go, we did see a treetop adventure course in the area. And for anyone who's watched my channel for a bit and knows me, I love the challenge of a treetop adventure course. They are so difficult and that is right up my alley. And from the reviews, this one is very hard. Issue is, Hooray! is with us. and of course he cannot go on the treetop adventure course, so we had to find a spot to drop him off for the day. We did ask. <laughs> like we asked if he could go on the treetop adventure course. Of course they said no. So instead we are going to be dropping him off at a rover. It's just a, it's the only person who does rover in the area. They do have some good reviews, so we will be dropping the dog off there now for the next few hours. We'll be do the treetop course and explore around a little bit, and then we'll go pick up the dog later tonight, and then charge up and head to the leaning tower. Piece of baby. We do have enough range. We do have enough of our 40 mile range left to make it to the tree pop top adventure course because it's only like 15 minutes away, which will be like 30 minutes in this car. But first, let's go drop off the dog and then we're gonna do a very hard course up in the trees. Let's go, baby. We're getting out of here. So we're dropping off the baby first. It's about eight minute drive. We have 35 kilometers of range left, which is about 21 miles of range. So going to this pet sitter right now, somehow, even though it's only like eight minutes away, uses 11% of our battery life, which is wild. And then we still have to make it to the treetop adventure course and back. So let's hope we have enough battery to make it to the treetop course. I think we do, but honestly, it's crazy because it feels like we have a good amount, but then it goes away so fast. But we gotta drop the baby off at the pet sitter. So we're gonna have to use the miles for it. We're using 11% just one way for you, buddy. So just to drive to the pet sitter, I just did the bath on it, will take us about 20 minutes of charging to make up for this. In just one direction, we still have to drive back toward the treetop adventure course because this is in the wrong direction. So I think total dropping the dog off to the pet sitter is gonna add like probably an hour of driving, of charging. <laughs> Damn, that's wild. All right, we're pulling up to Papa Rooney's little getaway for the day. Should be somewhere up around here. There's no suspension in this car, so the bumps are real, guys. All right, so we just dropped off the baby with the pet sitter. They were so nice. They invited us inside. We had um, a coffee. Well, Brian had coffee with them, a little espresso. I would have, but I can't. I can't do it without the milk and all the sugar and everything. I just can't do it. But now we're on the way to the treetop adventure course. We'll be picking up the baby at 10.30 p.m. tonight. So before then, we have a lot to do between charging, going to the treetop course, and exploring the town. So let's get on the road and see how many miles we can get under our belt today toward our 500 mile goal for this challenge. We're at a pizzeria because if we go to the street type adventure course and spend four hours in the trees, we're gonna need some sustainability with energy, sustenance. some sustenance. So we're gonna check out this pizzeria. It was on the way out here in the middle of nowhere. There's literally hay barrels over here. All right, so I wasn't gonna eat here because I have tomatoes and grapes in the car and a little bit of salami, but at the same time, I should probably eat a solid meal before climbing in the trees for four hours. So. I'm gonna get a burger and just take off the bun because I'm celiac, so I can't eat gluten. And Brandon's gonna get a normal burger. Normally I just ask for the burger without the bun, but sometimes it confuses them and then Brandon gets a burger without a bun. So just to avoid confusion, I'm just gonna pull the bread off when they get over here. All right, they actually served it perfectly and I actually understood me saying no bread. And this one's Brandon's. And he also got bruschetta, no, baby. it's pronounced bruschetta. Bruschetta. Yeah, I asked for bruschetta and she's like, what? And then she goes, bruschetta? I go, I think, yes. <laughs> and that's what he got. The food was delicious. We are now leaving the restaurant. And we're on our way to the tree top adventure course, baby. I bet I'm gonna be able to do the whole thing and Brandon's gonna be able to do like, I don't oh, know, let's say three quarters of it, probably. <laughs> 
Alright, we'll be there in eight minutes and this car is probably more like twelve. So let's go. Okay. We have arrived! Apparently the treetop adventure course is right over there. We see people with helmets on, so we're heading over. So there's usually a bunch of levels to these courses. You have to basically go through zip lines and different obstacles through the treetops. I, my goal is to get through every single level all the way to the end, which a lot of people can't do. So fingers crossed, this is supposed to be a really hard one. That's what I like about it. Challenges are sort of my thing. First things first, I'm sure we have to get suited up with helmets and everything and like harnesses and all the gear. All right, we are all ready and suited up to go. All right, we are ready to go. Give me some nugget kiss. Suit it up. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right, well, all ready to go. We were on the green course to start. There are six courses, and this is the easiest of the courses is green. So let's see what we're working with. Green starts right up this ladder and over that way. All right, so this is how the obstacles start. Pretty easy. We just walk across these things. That's why it's green. All right, Brandon's going across the zigzag right now, and I'm about to have to crawl through this net right here. <laughs> oh, God, the net. <laughs> like falling through it. <laughs> all right. It's fine. It's fine. This is basically the end of the green course where we have to zip line and just fly into this net right here. So, guess I'm going first. All right, so I just did it, but I was filming for TikTok, so I'm gonna get Brandon doing it. It's actually kind of crazy. Oh, God. Did you hit the tree? Yeah. yeah, I put my feet out. That's why I kicked off the tree. That's why I was like, oh, that's a thing. You can hit the tree. Yeah, you put your feet out and kick off the tree. That's what I did, but even then I went back on the zip line. Yeah, this is a rough ending system. <laughs> And then you have to climb down this net. It's kind of complicated though, because you have to stay harnessed in. I've been to a lot of places like this, and I've never had a place where like, you dismount by flying into a tree. Like you don't put your feet out, you literally just slam into a tree like Brandon just did. So gotta keep a look out for that. <laughs> so we've officially just completed green level one, but there's a green level two. So I guess it's like level 1.5, I guess. That's where we're going now. All right, we're at level, I guess, 1.5, Verde, green two, which is right up there. Obstacle number one in green two. Go right here. Thank you. All right, Brand's coming across. Brandon's hey, turn. Ah! All right, we're on the way to purple. It <laughs> looks like this is the way to purple. Here she goes, ready to conquer the world. We're level three. That's what I meant. I'm up, I'm up. Okay. Oh God, he's twirling. <laughs> oh gosh. Don't go. I wouldn't say you killed the landing, but you, but you made it. Fun, uh, you uh, made it. Yeah. All right, we made it to purple two, baby, level four. And it looks like it starts with the zip line. It looks like we officially ended level four, so we're going down now. All right, Brandon's on his way up to this platform. Here he comes. This one was incredibly tiring. I don't know, something about it. Woo. Now it looks like I gotta climb this thing down to the platform below me. To red we go. This way. I'm so excited. Finally made it to red, baby. And we gotta rock back. climb up this and then go over that way. That guy just tried to zip line, but he accidentally went the wrong direction. Like he went through and then like didn't make it. So no, he did. He came down and he hit the net and then bounced back. Oh he no, he made it and then missed himself. the net. All right, so that's later in the same one we're doing right now. Now we used to climb all the way up from there to the platform, like uphill. Just to the net. Wow, that sounds really tiring. All right, we're going on the same one. We're not gonna make that same mistake. All right, this one was very tiring. Brandon just started it. Is it hard? Just tiring. It started crushing it, that's what you meant to say. Ah! Mad respect for the people who do the tight rope hopping without any thing to hold on to. Is there kinda, the yeah, it's pretty crazy. The... All right, so this one looks like a zip line, but there's no cushion on the other side, so it must be a slow Line? I would think. All right, he's making his way across. All right, I want water so bad right now. Look, I am so thirsty, but gotta keep going. There's another cable here that I gotta walk across, so gotta go, gotta walk. All right, more cables and more cables, and then we gotta go down to the platform down there. He's coming in hot. Is that the grand finale, baby? Oh, God. There we go, so we made it to the finish line. We have finished, finished the adventure course, baby. So now we have about four and a half hours before we have to pick up my dog from Doggy Daycare. Where he's at right now. Hey, dog. 
Our dog. Our dog. <laughs> From Doggy Daycare. So that's the next time they were free. They weren't free till 10.30 p.m. tonight. So we're gonna have a late night of driving tonight. We wanted to leave earlier, like now-ish, but they said we couldn't pick him up at that time because they had to go out to dinner. And we said he's fine. We left the one she's out to dinner. So we can't pick the dog up until later, unfortunately. Leave me hanging. Oh, okay. Yeah. Uh, so yeah, uh, we will go charge up. We have to charge up anyway, probably for at least two hours and 45 minutes, three hours. And uh, so that's gonna take up a lot of the time anyway, because the car is pretty dead right now. And we have to go grab food. So we'll be on the road very late tonight to Pisa. It's probably gonna take like an hour and a half, two hours to get there. Um, in a real car, it'll only take an hour. So uh, yeah, we probably won't get there until like between midnight, 1 a.m. is the hope. So another late night of driving. Ah, we'll see the Leaning Tower of Pisa by tomorrow, baby. Thank you. Ah, thank you. We're going back on the road, baby. In our very, very tiny, inconvenient electric car. I think we have like another 12 miles of range before we need a charging. But first we're gonna go pick up my dog. My dog is at a pet, my dog's at a pet sitter right now. We're gonna go pick him up. Let's do it. And then we're gonna be on the road to the Leaning Tower of Pisa in this baby after a good three hour trip. but she said she was free right now for us to grab him. So might as well grab him now so that we can head to Pisa the moment charging is done in like two and a half, three hours. We found a charging station, baby. Literally just one minute away from where we just left the dog. So here we are, woo! Let's charge up for the next three hours, holy moly. All right, we just gotta pull this thing out. All right, I'm calling customer support because it says I'm charging right now when I'm not. So it won't let me try to start a charging session because it says I already have a charging session going, which I don't. Today was going too well. We couldn't just make it to Pisa. So let's hope customer service can help me get out of this and get charging soon. Hi, do you speak English? Uh, you should be chosen uh, the English language when you uh, call uh, this number. Oh, can you transfer me? I speak just French and uh, Italian a little bit uh, English, but not, uh, not All right, I'll call back. Thank you. Okay. All right, Brandon must have pressed the wrong number before this. <laughs> she said she only speaks French, so he must have pressed the wrong. He must have pressed the wrong number. He pressed the wrong number. Welcome to the Charge customer service. Your call will be handled by an operator answering from Italy. All I did is push the number for English. For English. We already booked a hotel in Pisa for tonight, so we really need this to work out. Like, we gotta leave this town tonight, so let's hope she can fix this. Like, we really gotta charge. The app is not really working on my uh, phone. It's saying that I already have a charging session uh, going, but I don't. So it's not letting me end it. It's not letting me do anything. I don't know why it's saying I have a charging session going, but I can't start a charging session because of it. <laughs> All right, so we're charging now, but I found out what happened and it's kind of insane. So I have no idea this happened probably between all the mix up yesterday, if you saw yesterday's daily vlog, but maybe something with the maintenance chargers yesterday and all those like issues we were having last night because somehow, some way, someone was using my app to charge in Grosseto, Italy for the last four and a half hours. And I was billed for it, not a lot, like three and a half euros or something, like no, like three bucks or four bucks. Not, not crazy, but not good. Like how did that even happen? So she ended their charging session so I could start mine, but I did have to pay for it. So I don't, I don't know what happened. That's wild. We're on our way to the grocery store now because we are starving. And also really thirsty after that adventure course. So we have two and a half hours of charging. Did you set a timer? All right, setting a timer now so we can know when to go back and get back on the road toward Pisa. I think we're gonna be at Pisa by midnight tonight. I think we're now at 7 p.m. So between charging and driving, as slow as we do, I think that's that's what's maybe reasonable. Beautiful walking path though. All right, made it to Conad, baby. All right, the selection looks pretty good. This is where we're at. Got everything? We got everything we need. It's time to eat. I think we still have like two hours and 15 minutes left before we can take back off again. So the host of our Airbnb just told us that there is a giant party in Pisa at 11 p.m. where everyone's going in like the whole town. 
I don't know if we'll be able to make it because we still have 38 minutes left of charging technically and an hour of driving in a normal car is probably like an hour and like 30 minutes in this car. So we think we're gonna pull the plug early, which is very bad idea. With 38 minutes left to go, but we're gonna do it anyway because, wait, 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 wait. We're gonna do it anyway because, uh, yeah, we wanna go to the party, but we could end up stranded on the side of the road because of this decision, so. Let's, let's see what happens. All right, we're unplugged, baby. All right, it took a second. Something was wrong with it, but it worked, it worked. All right, just kidding. We plugged it back in and then quickly realized that we only have 59 kilometers of range right now. And I think Pisa is like 58 kilometers away. We unplugged it. Oh, we unplugged it, sorry. So there is no way that we would make it to uh, Pisa right now with that. Like this goes down faster than what it's supposed to go down, so. We, we wouldn't make it, so we had to plug it back in. We might not make it now because we had to plug it back in. It might just not be happening for us, but we'll try. We'll try to book it as fast as we can at our 25 miles an hour once we can start driving, but Brandon's plugging it back in right now. So I don't I don't know how this happened, but now that we replugged it in, it says 56 minutes before we were at like 30 something minutes. So somehow unplugging it is now making it take even longer. So damn. That sucks. that sucks so bad. We're not making it to Pisa, guys. For the party, we're missing the Pisa party. Ooh. Damn. All right, so a timer just went off, and that was the timer for when originally the car was supposed to be done charging. And in a real car, it would take us now exactly an hour to get to Pisa. So if we left right now, we probably still wouldn't make it, but we'd have a shot. Like, we would have a shot, maybe. But unfortunately, now it's still saying 32 minutes left because for some reason when we unplugged it, it added 32 minutes, that means. <gasps> Guys, this challenge is really starting to weigh on me. Brandon's like being like, are you okay? I'm like, my butt hurts. Like this car is, I see why people don't drive it. 500 miles, unless it's a challenge like we're doing right now because my butt hurts. I want to be able to lay back. Like I feel claustrophobic because there's just so many things at my feet. Like I just can't, I'm having trouble functioning. Anyway, I don't want any more, any more mosquitoes in here because we don't have AC so the windows are open and it's nighttime so mosquitoes are to come in if I keep the light on on my phone. But that's the update. So we have to decide if we unplug it, but then it might mess up everything or if we just wait out the 32 minutes and accept that we're definitely gonna miss the party. I don't know what to do. I don't know. I'll update you guys in a second. Alright guys, 20 minutes left, but we're pulling the plug, baby. Brandon's unplugging it now, so for better or for worse, we're leaving. We're about to see what our range is when Brandon turns on the car. I'm pretty sure we're missing the pizza party. I'm going a little bit delusional, guys. I definitely am. If I seem like I'm all wonked out, it's from lack of sleep in this challenge. And we don't have time to rest because I have to make it to a wedding in New Jersey. So every day is accounted for to make this 500 miles even possible because that's a lot of miles in this thing. 71 kilometers of range. 71 kilometers of range, and I think we have to go like 58 or 59 right now. So we should make it. Unfortunately, if the hills and mountains are kind to us, we'll make it. No, I'm saying unfortunately, I'm so tired. If the hills and mountains are kind to us, we should make it. If they're not, then it's gonna be a really long night. So fingers crossed, it's already 10, 19 p.m. All right. And the party starts at 11, so Shout. no chance we're making that. We're doing it. We are 58 miles until we get there. Well, 58, 58 minutes. minutes. Come on, Cassie. We have 58 minutes till we get there, but that's in a real car avoiding highways and tolls, so it's gonna still be longer for us. We're back on the road. No delusion, no baby. Everyone's passing us, and I'm yawning like crazy, but we're on the way to Pisa. We're on the way. It's what the road looks like. Me and Brandon are both kind of yawning a bit. Sleepy time. But we're trying to make it. Wow, it's a big fireworks point. Guys, we see the fireworks all the way in the distance. It's happening. It's a huge fireworks display, holy moly. I don't think you can see it on camera, but we see it. You can't see it on camera? No. All right, so we're gonna be there in 12 minutes. We just saw the fireworks display end. If we didn't unplug the car and we waited till the end, we would have made it. Like, we would have just barely made it. But unplugging the car totally just we shot ourselves in the foot, we got antsy, and it did not work in our favor. So, that being said, it does say online that there's dancing and partying happening all the way until the morning. It's 11.40 p.m. now. We don't know if we're going to be able to park or anything like that, because it's like a huge night of the year. This is the biggest night of the year for Pisa. Like, we didn't know that or we would have booked it over here until our Airbnb host told us. But, 
Uh, we are going to drive through it and see what's going on in approximately 11 minutes. So that's exciting. <laughs> on the way. Da -da 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 -da. I also just want to note that we are almost there, but I am in an insane amount of pain. My back, my butt, this seat is getting to me, guys. Like, oh my God, is it getting to me. Like, this feels worse than the toy car right now. At least I had a cushion bottom in the toy car. Like, this, yeah. Yeah, I'm in pain. I'm in so much pain. But we're almost there, baby. That is pace. All right, we found all the people. I think we literally just missed it. Definitely park somewhere we're not supposed to, but that's like everyone right now. This is absolutely chaos. There's like a million people around here, so everyone's just parked all over the place. Well, people are parked everywhere around here, so hopefully the car is fine. Like people are on curbs, like anything you can imagine. We're just walking to see what's like going on up here, even though we missed the fireworks, just to see if anything else is still happening that's cool because the place is packed. Yeah, we're definitely uh, walking the way that no one else is walking, which means we definitely missed it, but we're still looking around. We just bought some nuts because what else are we gonna do? We missed it. We definitely missed it just barely. I'm not sure if this is normal, but all the houses are lit up on all of the windows along the water. Like, it looks so cool. All right, so all of these candles are actually lit up, like real candles, so this is definitely a one thing. No idea how they lit them all up, but like, they're all lit they're up. They're all burning, and eventually they're gonna burn out. This is all right, there's an insane amount of cars. This is we're four minutes away from the center, so maybe something's happening up here. Lights just randomly just go off. It's not working. All right, we can't get into the Airbnb. Oh, huh? that sounded promising. No wonder it was so hard to get it from the outside. Look at this lock situation. Look at this. It goes all the way up to there. And it has four, That's wild. One, two, three, four, five huge metal bolts that go into this thing. And Absolutely then... insane. All right, so it's approximately one in the morning. The place looks really nice. I'll give you guys a quick tour and then we'll officially be the end of day five on the road, baby. And then tomorrow we're gonna explore Pisa and see the Leaning Tower of Pisa. So that's really exciting. Cannot wait, but they do tell us that checkout's at 10 a.m., which is in nine hours. That doesn't feel like enough time to actually get sleep, but we're gonna make it work. I'm go I need to go to bed, like ASAP. But the place is nice. Place is really nice. Bed looks a little thin. I wonder if it's comfy, but it does look nice. Yeah. Not bad. Not bad. And the bathroom. This is the bathroom. I like it. So that is officially the end of day five, guys. I hope you had an awesome day with me and Brandon. And tomorrow is gonna be another day on the road of exploring Pisa. So get excited for that. We're gonna see the Leaning Tower. We're gonna explore the town. See everything that's going on here, and apparently there's gluten-free croissants here at a breakfast place, which you guys know me. Chocolate and croissants are like top, two of my top things, so I'm so excited. See you guys tomorrow for day six on the road to our 500 miles in the tiniest electric car, baby.